Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Beautiful morning. The farmer's wife is harvesting. Gives her great joy. And uh, the irrigation system has not been completed, not even in the garden. Um, quite a task. Water flows, but it also follows the rules of nature regarding pressure. So uh, we have to discover all those aspects and work with it. We all have all these um, stones and sand because we ordered a kind of outer building storage workshop and it never showed up. So fortunately I didn't build that platform yet, but uh, we will use it for I am thinking to have a platform for a huge tent that we have, three bedroom tent, and just have a wooden frame, some sand and then stones on top and then the tent on top of that. That will be nice. Here we have lots of tubes. I have been walking more than 20 kilometers a day, uh, pulling these tubes to where I want them to be. This is the leftover of the previous irrigation system, the hand watering system, and we hope to replace this with a drip irrigation system. So uh, a drip line on these moringas. Some of these uh, tubes are still quite long, 100 meters and more. But they can stay here for the moment. I now measure what I need to tie up to the 40 millimeter pipe and then I can pick the length I want which is good. We are here where these acorns, they don't, sorry, these oak trees preparing for their acorns, they don't flower all at the same time. They also have catkins. This tree now is full of, full in bloom. That's why it is yellow comparing to the tree next to it that is green. And it doesn't produce, sorry, this is a cork. Come on, get yourself together today. I'm tired. This is a cork and it doesn't produce the male and female uh, reproductive organs the same time and uh, so that another plant, another tree can fertilize this one and vice versa, not itself. I think it's quite neat. This drip line is just placed here and uh, so that we can measure. We will start at the other end clean the middle part of the berm, lay it down, put in the drippers 
and we will take them one by one and hopefully we'll complete the project before it is too hot and dry we have some time allergies are out again because it's getting drier it didn't rain for quite some time even the dogs are sneezing Max is still on his own because of his foot I only let him out now and then 40 millimeter pipe east-west through the farm from the very end on the east to the very end on the west so once it comes from the pump uphill to the east uphill to the west then it follows the contour and from there we tap into the other drip lines I hope it will make sense to the water what we are trying to do some more drip lines waiting to be installed we had Kolle our hydroponics friend here and then we discussed uh, a lot to have loops closed loops and open loops and blunt loops but uh, it's too much for my head so I'll just start with my simple system and see if the water agrees a problem that I can foresee is that this 40 millimeter pipe is on contour and then it drops down about 10 meters in this place and it might even happen that uh, when the water drips out it creates a vacuum on top and it can flatten this 40 millimeter pipe I hope that doesn't happen if I see the first signs I will put in a valve that I can close that it doesn't suck it empty many things as expected the one neighbor offered me his sheep to come and clean my property and uh, I said but uh, what about my trees he says no a sheep eats down a goat eats up and I said but I have lots of small trees and pumpkins and sweet potatoes and things he says no they will not do that so I politely declined the offer one year old uh, the morera the mulberry peach two years old and the apple the main attraction for the deer and then the leaf curl I have used several natural and copper products but it's worsening by the day no more visible water in the creek on Sunday we get visitors from Saudi Arabia to come and see what we are doing they will stay three days and learn that's great Oleander preparing for its pink flowers till next time
Goodbye.